So, basically what we're about to go over is controlling a neutral with J and spacing and stuff like that. And my controller needs to be charged. Right there. there we go. So yeah, we're basically going to be going over the neutral and spacing with J and um, going over a lot of the moves that reset the neutral for her and put you in a Bari situation. A Bari situation is to where it's like, it, it, it resets the neutral. And you're pretty safe and nothing really can punish you except for moves that defy the neutral like like Luke Kang flying kick or or uh, sub slide or J instant kick and jade it but uh, yeah so the moves that I have on screen right now I, I selected untamable for a reason because it has that too easy strain that you see up there and that resets the neutral too we're we'll gonna go over that in a second but um yeah, these moves are all on the screen. Reset the neutral and put Jade back in the position that she wants to be in. And the position that she wants to be in is the position to where she can abuse this. She can abuse this. And sometimes she can abuse this. Everybody love them some down too, of course. It's, it's fine. But, um, yeah, so. The first thing that we're gonna go over is straight kick. That's just staying through. You see that pushback? So after that, you can just back dash, boom. Back in a neutral. Or back dash, back two. Just like that. It's not that bad, it's only minus one on block. So you can just do it and back up. The best time to do it is maybe when you're doing this stagger with back three, instead of doing it like 3,000 times, just do one and then that and back up. Or you can do if they block in low. Let me see. Oh, I gotta make him uh there we go. Like that. That's still good. Push back. Especially if you do it from like right here. You're still good. You can do this, back up, forward two. Or this, back up, back two. Not if they duck in low. Only if you see them press a button or try to dash forward or something then go for this because usually people think that this is an input error if you utilize this correctly you can get a lot of people to fall for it you can open a lot of people up and uh yeah just like that now another thing that a lot of people don't do which is another abari move is what am i doing down two on block there's nothing wrong with that. Look at this pushback. It's only minus nine. Look at that. And it's a nine frame down too. And if you do it from a range, it's nothing they can do. Look at this. Look at all this space you got. I think the only thing you can do is once again a neutral defined move. Um, how can I set this up? Custom. Oh no, I can just set it to flying kick, right? Yeah. Uh, oh. oh, you can't even do that. You say for the punish, just like that. Okay, let's switch that back. I'll just cut it off. But yeah, down two, especially from a, a decent range, is nothing they can do. Right here, you back in a neutral, especially if you do this in ED. If you do this in ED, you can just blow up and then just start you know, doing the, the, the projectiles and stuff like that. It's another real good one. Now, in my opinion, her best one is Tiny Dancer. That's this. So after that, you already, look, look at this range. This is back two range already. But if you do this and back dash, look at that. Look at all this range. And you, I say this is the best because usually after this, they dash up instantly. They, they dash up instantly, especially Liu Kang. I, I see that Liu Kang's have a habit of dashing up after that to do one, two, three. 
That's when you do this. You do it, back dash, back two. Just like that. If the person knows this and they back up, that's fine. Especially if you in ED, that's totally fine. You both back dash, glow up. Just like that. That's the perfect time to glow up. The, the perfect time to glow up in any situation is when you out of the neutral. Like at this range, glow up. But if you're going against a person that can react to it and they have a a neutral uh, a neutral defiant move like Lou, then you might want to back up some more and then do it. Or bait it out, just throw a couple things and then throw it out. So uh, after that, we got her plus frame. Which sucks because it has a gap in it, but it's a plus frame. It's plus five. Right? Yeah, it's plus five. Everybody should already know how to deal with this kind of situation. I mean, it, this is like her main stream, but it has a gap in it. So that's why I don't think that it's the best. It's only really good in the corner. Like that. I'm going to go over that a little bit more in just a second. But we're going to go over the next one. Royal Guard. So this one is kind of a weird one. So if you do it from like, if you whiff one and then do it, you can backdash and it's good. But if you're up close, it's not really that good. It's not as good as whiffing like this one. But you can do it up close, that's, that's fine, and get a backdash. But usually after that, this is a good stagger. It puts you in the perfect range for back three. Hold up. Trying to get it. Okay, yeah, there we go. You, it just puts you in the range for back three. Let me do it while they crouch block. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, just like that, especially if they crouch block it. Obviously, because it starts on the low. So if they block this, and you do like that, you can do this, back three, four, three. Or do this, back dash. Or, once again, with one, back dash. And you're all good. You're out of the neutral. Neutral's like right here. But you like right here. That's that's fine enough. In this range, they probably gonna try to do a neutral defined move. Or they might back dash. Or they might just sit there. If they just sit there, that's fine. You can glow up if you're in ED or jaded. Or you can just dash back in and go for some more stuff. Or just do it from right here anyways. Or you can do this. Hold on, I messed it up a little bit. There we go, you can do that too, that's pretty cool. Now, in untamable specific stream that just resets the neutral completely is too easy. So it's this. Just like that. And this is like, it's kind of, it's kind of a mix up because you can either backdash and be out of whatever situation that you're in or you can do this and instantly go for back two because some people think that this is unsafe and that they can punish it because of this this is minus 14 you can punish the heck out of that but this is only minus seven so you can't really punish that especially oh let me try this oh look at that range yeah look at that look at that that's terrific that's terrific. Even if it's on hit. If it's on hit, that's fine too. Because it, it, it catches people and it launches on full screen. Yeah, it launches on full screen. Back up. And untamable, you can teleport. Or you can just stay full screen. And throw some stuff, maybe. Well, if they want to start zoning, you can reflect some stuff. But, yeah, people usually think this move is unsafe. It's good on hit and it's good on block. I want to land that at, I want to land that on block again because that was, that was kind of satisfying, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so like right here. Look at that. Look at the, look at all this space it covers. And don't get me started on if you're in casuals and you got this equipped with like ED or something. It's pretty broken. Now, the last thing that everybody hates down for. You can abuse this move so much. Like you can do multiple. Down for it, back dash. Look at all this space. It's just as much as it's just as much as doing the plus frame. Back dash. Let me try it again. So like right here. 
Yeah, it's just as much space, so you're not using a freaking gap in order to get some plus frames and to get some, some distance. You can just down four. So, all of these moves are really good for resetting the neutral and setting up people for your main your main like punishing tool is back to this kinda sucks, needs buffs. Um but uh yeah, that's it on that. That's it on resetting the neutral and controlling the neutral and spacing with Jade. Um one more thing I wanna go over. So I did say I was gonna wait for this. But we're gonna go back to the plus frame. Take all these out and we're just gonna equip the plus frame. Okay, so back to the spacing thing with this like I said it's really good in the corner it jails super hard in the corner anything jails super hard in the corner right, let me make them duck anything jails super hard in the corner now with that range what a lot of people like to do in the corner is probably try to jump or dash up something that you can do to stop them is use this now Recently, back one got a buff. He got a pretty decent block stun and buff, I think, something like that. But um, yeah, this it's really good for space. It's not a high; it's a freaking mid, and mids are always good. So you can use it right after this to check them, and you can use it to hit confirm and put them right back in the situation that they were in on knockdown. And boom, you could probably do it again. You can commit to the full string, you can do this, you can do, this is more helpful because when you do this, that's plus 10 on block, look at that. Hold on, let me try it again. Um, trash, okay, there we go. But yeah, it's plus 10 on block, and then usually people, smart people would duck it. But another thing that people like to do, is after this, after this whips, let me, actually I can just put him on a, oh right now, right? Yeah, usually what people do is that, and you can go straight into back, straight into back three. You do it again from a range. They try to duck it and they probably would dash up to try to go for buttons. You can go straight into back three. Because they have to respect this. They have no choice. Hold up, I'm trying to do it again. I think it's better if I just set them to do it to me. Oops, oh gosh. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I think I could, I'll do it like this. Um, all and duck, right? Yeah, and then go to record. There we go. So, boom. I'm gonna just do that. Oh, hold up. Yeah, see? Just like that. That's supposed to be doing that. But, um, yeah, this back one is super good now for spacing. They got a little pushback to it, too. And it's a pretty decent stagger from this range. You probably can use it as a. Let me see. That could be, probably be used as an Abari, too, from a range. Probably. Because they may dash up after it. Because you didn't do anything. And it's minus 10. And I think any other option after this is unsafe unless you do that to clear things up. Or in Jada, you can do a cancel or a straight into pole vault or something. Or that maybe. And then back dash. So yeah, I would count this as one. From a range though. It's really good from a range. So you can do that. Back dash. Or do it into a move or something. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much it for the whole spacing thing with Jade. Um, I showed you all her Abari moves. We actually gonna put that. We gonna put that back one in there because that was really good. Uh, down two, straight kick. Uh, down four. Um, two one two. Actually, we're gonna try one more after I look, after I get done looking at this. That, real guard. 
Um, and my pleasure. Okay, I want to try this simple seduction. I want to try that out. That looks pretty cool. To a backdash. And it already comes a lot of range. Okay, that's another good one. I just discovered this one as a, a better one. I usually use it to cancel into something like that. And they gotta respect that like crazy. Damn, for it to be minus seven from a decent range like this, automatically reset neutral. Look, you just walk back and be full screen. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that one too. That one's pretty decent too. But I'd usually just cancel into this. So they have to respect that. Let me see what that is on block. Let me see how plus that is. I know it's super plus. Uh, go back to duck. Plus 11? Oh, plus 12. Oh, yeah, you gotta respect that like crazy if you block it. What can you do from here? Oh! There you go, you can go for 4 or 2 after that. Yeah, I'm gonna start using that a little bit more. This is really good. That's a huge plus for him. But yeah, that's about it. I hope this helps. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like on the video. I'm gonna try to go through without editing it. I probably don't need to edit because that was kind of a really good run. I really got run through all the moves. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoy it, once again, drop a like on this video. I try to shoot for like 70 to 80 likes on the video. And I got a couple more tutorials with Jay coming up soon. And, uh, yeah, it's been K, and your boy is out. Never!